a silly summary of FNAF 420 plays it, the not so final chapter. Like, no, seriously, they, they literally are blazing it. Smoke weed every day. Do I really need to say anything here? I mean, the FNAF silly summaries almost follow a pattern just like the games do. But, to be fair, there's a few differences with this game this time. Instead of a uh, pizzeria, we're in a bedroom this time, and um, a bedroom with two doors, that is, and it's like, I don't know why that is, I could go on about it, but I feel trying to rant and complain about that is just a losing battle, I'm sure there's crazy FNAF theories out there any way of why that's a thing, but if you ask me personally, I think this game is just one big drug trip. I mean, come on, the new animatronic designs speak for themselves. Like, no, seriously, you could tell me that Scott Cawthon's inspiration for FNAF 4 was from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and I would very lightly believe that because it just seems like it. Anyway, let's talk about the animatronics, because these are clearly the most interesting designs we've had in a FNAF game so far and first of all yes it's, al it's already clear that they have uh, abused the drugs what kind of drugs how many drugs who knows but <laughs> they have been abused I mean we already mentioned about uh, Barney Jr and Quackadoodle who have set themselves on fire if I know that thing about it I'm surprised that doesn't just burn the whole house down Freddy now has kids, so clearly he's trying to do something with his life. Unless he's just a sexual predator now, then, you know, just making kids left, right and centre. There's Foxy. I could take the piss out of Foxy, but... I don't know, I just don't feel like it. I mean, maybe I could make a joke about, you know, Foxy or something to do with a closet, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I, I just don't feel like it. It's not like there's any particular reason why I, I wouldn't dare, you know, want to insult Foxy. No, no, no reason at all. Flashback time. Also, since I haven't mentioned it, I know it's the thing that Foxy's in the closet. There's also a mini game where you have to avoid the plushy version of Barney Jr. so he doesn't like bite your toes off or something. And if you manage to survive the first four nights, then on the fifth night you get to go against Super Freddy. He's like Freddy, but he's golden and super and he's got slightly sharper teeth, maybe he's a little bit fatter too. He's just a bear in every way. If you keep on going through the nights, you can eventually go up against Nightmare. It's like super evil, dark, Freddy ultimate power. Uh, you, you're not gonna stop this thing unless you got all the pro strats. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! Scott Cawthon actually released DLC. I believe it was free DLC, but anyway, it was a Halloween DLC that Included some new animatronics there where they already mentioned the blaze animatronics of Barney Jr. and Quackadoodle setting themselves on fire. There was Ma a Nightmare Mango to replace um, Foxy. And finally, there was the Night Marionette, which... <laughs> I, I, I don't get how this thing was supposed to be scary. Like, this thing reminds me more of some sort of, like, Looney Tunes character more than anything. <laughs> Oh, I apologise, sort of. With the limited time I had and still trying to get used to new recording software, this was a little bit of a messy episode, also there wasn't that much to talk about regarding um, FNAF 4. So this may not have been the best video, but I finally got it out, finally got it done. Um, if you did enjoy this video, then please, uh, you know, comment on what you thought, like it, show support. Maybe even subscribe so to the channel if you haven't already. Um, you can check the silly summary playlist in the description, or it will be on the top right by clicking the card above. 
as always, thanks for watching.